Okay, good morning everyone. I again I created this uh, PowerPoint slideshow to the type of common from Sergi Artare. Thank you so much. Okay, good morning everyone. So we have now local and global environmental issues that contributed to species extinction. So just a few re a review again. Extinction occurs when the last member of the species die. Kapag when a population species begins to decline rapidly, threatened species. And danger naman ng species kapag uh, so low na yung kanyang bilang ng population, organisms, na possible na siya to the brink of extinction. When it's a brink of extinction and then human action have resulted the habitat loss and degradation. Okay? That, that accelerated to the rate of extinction. Yung rate ng pagbilis ng extinction. Have you eaten? Okay, did you turn on an electric light, ride a tricycle or jeepney, use a computer? You use one or more natural resources. Okay, natural resources are materials in the environment okay, that people use to carry on with their lives. Are you using okay, these natural resources wisely? Well, we have the local and global environmental issues or problems affecting the community. So, we are about, okay, our objective is to know the causes of species extinction. Ito yun yung target natin ngayon. Causes of species of extinction. Ano-ano ba yung mga naging dahilan? Ba't naging extinct okay, yung mga species? So, we have deforestation. We have wildlife depletion, we have water pollution, air pollution, destruction of coastal resources, and acid precipitation. So, what are those? Let's go. Okay, so deforestation. Okay, one of the country's environmental problems to rapid rate at which trees are cut down. We know deforestation from the prefix then. Okay. So, May encounter birds sa community nyo to, pagputol ng mga puno. Okay, in the Philippines, the major causes of, this, of deforestation are Ano ba nagiging dahilan? Okay, bakit pinuputol itong mga puno? Sa Philippines, because of kaingin farming. Because of illegal logging, conversion of agricultural lands to a housing projects. Okay, forest fires and typhoons. So, yan yung mga dahilan at nagkakaroon ng deforestation sa Pilipinas. Okay. Ano nagiging consequences kapag pinutol natin? Okay. Pag nagkakaroon tayo ng deforestation, pag pinutol natin yung mga puno. Ito yung mga effects. Soil erosion. Floods. Decrease in wildlife resources that will eventually lead to extinction. Kapag ka walang puno, Walang higop ng tubig. Pabaha. Pagka walang puno, okay, mag-e-erode yung lupa. Walang hahawak dun sa soil. Kaya nagkakaroon ng soil erosion. Okay, nawa-wash away sila. Madali silang matanggal. Okay? Madaling mag-ibayan. And then, weather. Okay? And then, decrease in wildlife resources. Yung mga puno, okay, bahay ng mga iba't ibang organisms. Okay? puputulin mo. So, nabawasan yung habitat, nawala yung habitat nila, wildlife resources, bumaba. So, is the kaingin farming and is the forest hit by typhoon? Okay, wildlife depletion. Okay, as a human population gets bigger, habang lumala yung population natin, kailangan na mas malaking space para sa bahay, okay, para sa pagtatadim, Para sa industri to industries. Okay, Deforestation is one of the major causes of the disappearance of wildlife species. Tignan nyo ha. Okay. Deforestation is one of the major causes of disappearance of wildlife resources. Yung pagputo lang puno, ang major dahilan bakit nawawala ng wildlife species. Okay. Bakit? Kasi ginagawa ang tirahan. Tao. Kailangan, kailangan ng malaking paniman or pag tayo ng mga industriya na pabrika. If they cannot find enough space, okay, kapag ka 
wala nang space yung mga wildlife species na to hanap sila ng iba pag nawala yun paunti ng paunti they find okay, they can find enough space many will die or become extinct some species become endangered or at the verge of becoming extinct ikaw nga naman okay, kung ikaw yung ibon or ikaw yung wildlife species na yun wala ka na matirhan okay syempre may tendency na mag endangered ka kasi hindi mo kayo mabuhay na walang, mati, na walang matitrahan na maayos Okay, in other case, some animals may be threatened, referring to species that are close to being endangered. Sobrang bilis nung pag-decline ng population natin, threatened. Okay, malapit na sila maging endangered, malapit na maging extinct. Example are monkey eating eagle, tarsier, and dugong are close to being endangered. They are, because they are threatened. Okay? So, are examples of endangered species. Kapag ka wala nga naman tirahan itong mga to, okay, mag-i-endangered talaga sila. We have here, dugong. Okay, yan. So, water pollution. We are now on the water pollution. We have this concept, eutrophication. And what is eutrophication? Let's see to the following concepts. Okay, a major problem, problem in lakes, ilog, ponds, Okay, is eutrophication. Okay, one of the effects of water pollution, it is supposed to be slow. Okay, but tignan na. Okay, but the man's activities again. Okay, the man's activities again. He set it up. Pinapabilis yung process ng eutrophication. Figure ten. So, the following figure shows the causes and stages of eutrophication in a lake. Sewage carries chemicals into young lake. These chemicals speed up growth of algae. Yung chemicals, okay, sewage, may chemical pumunta sa lake. Okay, yung mga chemical na yan, ini-speed up niya yung growth ng algae. Okay, yung pagtubo ng algae. Algae die and settle to bottom. They begin to decompose. Bacteria that cause decomposition use up oxygen in water. So, itong mga algae na to, okay, mga algae na yan, magsisettle down, okay, and then, kailangan ng bacteria para madecompose itong mga to, and yung mga bacteria, they are using oxygen and water. Ayun, makikipag-compete yan. Oxygen in water is no longer available for animal life like the fish. So, animals die, okay, lake begins to get old. Nagkakaroon ng competition with the oxygen. Nagdaragin ng kamit ng bakterya na supposedly dapat dun sa mga marine organisms like the fish. I have you read articles from the, news, the newspapers about fish killed in Manila Bay or some other places? Okay, yes. May mga naipaparad tayo sa mga balita. Okay, eutrophication, a fish kill is usually happen, okay, usually happens when there is an increase in concentration of organic nutrients in bodies of water. Okay, may umu okay, umuulan, and then may mga river, may mga tubig galing sa taas. Siyempre, nag-run off, nasi surface run off, dumadaan sa lupa, nawa-wash out yung mga nutrients. Pupunta sa isang lugar, like the lake, the stagnant water lake. Okay. So, nagkakaroon ng algal bloom. Okay? And then, nagkakaroon din ng growth ng aquatic plants. So, ang mangyayari, again, algae tie, okay, the composition proceeds. This process used of oxygen as a result, aquatic animals die due to lack of oxygen. Okay, bodies of water are also polluted with toxic wastes. Yung mga Okay, makikita natin sa mga, okay, kung kanta, no, sa pa, anak ng Pasig. Okay, and if you with the, with the, kung kanta natin sa mga Marikina River, Pasig River, ayan. So, napopulot sila because sa mga toxic wastes. Okay, untreated sewage, hindi nalilinis. And fertilizers run off from farlands. 
pati rin yung mga fertilizers na galing sa farm plants. So one of the class, one class of dangerous chemicals na present sa water is PCB. Merong isang okay, dangerous chemical na tinatawag na PCB. Okay, or polychlorinated biphenyl. Okay, PCB are toxic bases produced in the making of paints, inks, and electrical insulators. So yung mga paggawa ng mga electrical insulators like on the wires, okay, like, okay, ano pa ba sa mga basang pa daw makikita yung PCB, yung polychlorinated biphenyl sa paints, sa inks na tinatapon sa sewage, tumadaan sa ilog, okay. So, figure 11 shows that what happens in the food chain when PCB is present. Ano nang nangyari sa food chain natin? So, PC, PCB are dumped in the water. Ayan. Algae have 100 times more PCB than water. So, si algae, nagkakaroon siya ng content ng PCB. 100 times more PCBs than water. So, may, kung 1 times lang sa water, si algae magkokolekta ng 100 times Okay, na PCB. And then, kakainin ito ng isda. So, small fish have now 1,000 times PCB. And then, yung mga big fish, pag kinaya, pag kinaya ng big fish yung mga small fish, meron na silang 5,000 times more PCBs than algae. Okay? So, it's like parang kumakain ka ng dumi. Kung may maliit na organism, kumain ng dumi. And then, may mas malaking organism, kinain yung mga yun. And then, mayroong mas malayang organism, kinain yun. So, 5,000 more na mayroong kang dumi. Okay, yung PCB, that and the original one, yung pinakauna. Okay, yung unang unang sa food chain natin na consumer. So, kawawa naman tong salmon na to, no? 5,000 times more PCBs than these, these algae. Okay, so we have here, Fishes living in contaminated ecosystems contain build up high concentration of PCB. Okay? So, doon sa mga yan, sa mga pa, sa mga river na yan, for sure, sa mga polluted na yan, water pollution, polluted river, polluted lake, polluted, okay. Maraming, mataas ang concentration ng PCBs, high concentration of PCBs. So, the fish were not killed by the chemicals, but they stored them in their tissues. Okay? Namamatay sila di okay dahil na i-store sa tissues nila as a salmon fish as a smaller fish they took PCB in their bodies okay like the smaller fish salmon was not killed by the PCB they stored it in their tissue the concentration of PCB in salmon okay, in the water which they feed yung concentration of PCB in salmon rise to 5,000 times as you can see on the figure so, biological magnification, what is biological magnification is the build-up of pollutants in organisms at higher trophic levels in a food chain. So, yung salmon natin, okay, nagkaroon ng biological magnification kasi, ayun, a build-up of pollutants in an organism in a higher trophic level. So, mas mataas yung trophic level kasi mas, yung mas mataas siya na consumer compared dun sa yung salmon natin, compared sa small fish at sa algae. So, nagkakaroon ng biological magnification. Other pollutants found in water are heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and in cadmium. Hindi, kan, okay, hindi, hindi, hindi sila direct na namatay doon sa chemical, kundi doon sa amount, okay? Sa amount ng pagtitik na na-store doon sa tissue nila. So, other pollutants na makikita sa water are heavy metals like lead, mercury, and cadmium. So, these metals are came from factories that dump their waste to rivers or make so kawawa yung mga marine organisms natin, yung mga hindi lang ista, pwede rin yung mga halaman na nandoon sa rivers or lakes na apektuhan sila. So, bawal mo ang kainin yun kasi mataas yung concentration ng metals, ng lead, ng heavy metals, lead, mercury, calcium, masama sa katawan niya. Okay, do you know that cars are one of the major contributors to air pollution? So, dito naman tayo sa air pollution. Cars, a major contributors, contributors na air pollution. Okay. Cars, we know that they're factories, but let's let's go to cars, okay? Cars burns fuel and produce harmful gases like carbon dioxide. Alam natin yan. But, meron ding, nagpo-produce sila ng nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons, as you can see here. Ano meron dito? Okay. So, merong burning ng fuel. Cars nag-emit ng carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. 
okay, in hydrocarbon sa taas ng atmos sa atmosphere. Okay? So, ang nangyayari, mangat, yung mga nitrogen, yung mga carbon dioxide, yung mga, yung mga hydrocarbons, yung mga, okay? And then, pagkamit ng mga particles na yan, doon, sa fog, okay, it that contains water, and we have the sunlight energy, ang nangyayari is nagkakaroon ng formation ng smog. Yan ang titig mo, it's like a smoke and a fog combined. Those smoke contains pollutants like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbon. Smoke that came from the burning of fuel of vehicles before me smog. Okay? Hamog is okay, but smog is not. Kasi madumi na to. Tsaka may kita na pag-black na yung sunlight. Okay? Meron ako napanood sa, sa history, sa nakamutan ko na yung title. Yung parang kahit na tanghali, na tanghali or medyo maaraw pa, nabalutan sila ng sobrang kapal na smog, sobrang dream ng paligid. Kasi na kayang i-black na mga smog nito ng mga particles na ito yung sunlight. Okay. In Metro Manila, we're a great volume of cars. We know that Metro Manila, napakaraming cars dyan, okay, na bumabiyahe. Smog blankets the area, nitrogen oxygen, and hydrogen carbon from car exhaust, agree with water vapor, nagre-react yung mga okay, yung mga gases na to sa water vapor or dust particles na nagpo-produce ng irritating chemicals. Kaya nga kapag kababiyahe ka okay, sa Metro Manila before, okay, sobrang mahatching ka talaga, parang tsaka mapapansin sa damit mo, hindi maitim kasi ang daming dust particles. Maraming doon medyo, maraming irritating, maraming doon chemicals. Okay? And carbon dioxide acts like a blanket. Carbon dioxide acts like a blanket over the earth holding in the heat that would otherwise reject back into space. So, ano nangyayari? Itong carbon dioxide na ito, pagpasok ng sunlight, imbes na dumaret yung taas sa labas ng space, nakaharangan. So, it's like, yung pumasok tatlong ray, tatlong ray, lumabas isa lang. Isang, imbis sa dalawa. And then yung isa magstay. So, ang nangyayari, isa lang lumabas, dalawa yung nagstay. So, nagkakaroon ng trapping. And then, Earth's atmosphere became, okay, have higher temperature, pataas ang pataas yung temperature niya, nagkakaroon ng, okay, yung tinatawag ng greenhouse effect. Okay, the greenhouse effect is a natural process. Natural ang greenhouse effect. Ang hindi natural, okay, ay yung pagbilis ulit nito, Okay, yung proseso ng pagbilis nito because of the carbon dioxide. Okay, that results to the global warming. Okay, is an increase in the Earth's temperature from rapid buildup of carbon dioxide and other gases. This in turn could change the world climate patterns. So, nakakabahala ito kasi in this like summer, hindi maulan. Maulan, nagiging summer. Okay? Nag-iiba yung climate patterns natin. Because of these gases, because of this greenhouse effect, okay, because of this global warming. Now, factories and power plants that burn coal are also major contributors to air pollution. So, mga factories din. Coal contains sulfur. Okay, when coal burns, sulfur, com sulfur combines with oxygen in the air to form sulfur dioxide with choking odor. <coughs> okay. Power plants also burn coal to give particles into the air. Particulates are tiny particles of soot, dust, and smoke. These particles block sunlight and get into your lungs when you breathe. So, nabablock okay, yung sunlight and then irritating siya pag naaamoy mo yung mga particles na yun. Like the uso. Okay, may kita mo rin din yung mga particles. Yung stambut yun sa sakyan. Maitim. Okay, yung soot. Pag kinaskas mo yun mga powder powder okay, yun, masama yun sa lungs natin kaya tayo humahatching para malabas yun mate, kasi as a response to our, our immune system mat matanggal yung dirt na yun next one, destruction of coastal resources okay, paano nagkakaroon ng destruction of coastal resources we have coral reefs and coastal mangrove forests in the Philippines serve as the breeding grounds of an entire series of marine fishes mangrove forests, mga swamps mga bakawan okay but due to man's activities again, due to man's activities, 
So it's, a, it's because of man's activities. Coastal areas are getting destroyed. The deforestation, agricultural activities and mining activities, dynamite fishing, Moro army. What are those? Okay. Coastal areas conversion into beach resorts. Can convert into beach resorts? Inagawang residential areas over harvesting. Okay. Damage mangroves areas and dynamite fishing. Okay. Pagpato ng mga dinamita. Ayan. Look at those. Okay. It's very sad to see. Okay. The beautiful nature is being destroyed by the human activities. Ano pa? We have the okay, the Moro Army. Pagbagsak ng mga malalaking bagay sa coral reefs. Nakisira yun. Cyanide fishing. Chemical na ilalagay sa tubig. Pag na pag na pag na intake yun ng isda. Mamatay yung isda. Lulutan. Pwede hindi na silang mahirapan mag na mag isda. Pukulat ang puti nilang nila sa ibabaw sa surface ng water. Okay. Acid precipitation is commonly known as acid rain. Rainwater is normally acidic. Ang tubig ulan is normally acidic daw. But because of carbon dioxide, it's normally present. Because carbon dioxide is normally present. But other pollutants like the sulfur and nitrogen oxides makes rainwater even more acidic with a pH of 5.6 or lower. Kapag ang pH level mataas, basic. Diba pinag-aral natin ng grade 7? Kapag ka, ba, ba, bif, pag ka below or lower 7 na siya, acidic na siya, maasim na. Emissions from the factories and from excess of motor vehicles are some examples of pollutants nagiging acidic lalo yung rainwater because of these pollutants by the burning of okay, by the sulfur and nitrogen oxides okay, sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides okay, from the burning of fuel, motor vehicles and factories so acid precipitation, ano nga ba naging epekto ng acid precipitation? Okay, acid rain can be harmful to living things. It causes yellowing of leaves of trees. Nagiging madilaw daw ang, hala, ang, hala, ang dahon ng puno, ng mga halaman, at bumabagsak ito. So, may kita natin dito, acid deposition, the nitrogen oxides, the sulfur dioxides, okay, halo. Yan yung mga naging mga pollutants. Increased transpirations, bark damage, nagkakaroon ng damage yung bark. Parang may pitak-pitak, may kita natin sa loop, sa punga-puno, may kaya sila may mga pitak-pitak. Okay, and then, we have here, damage to the tree roots. Ayan. Release of toxic metals. Acidic. Okay. So, kawawa. Okay, sino nga na kapag ka naging maasim yung rainwater na pinagkukunan ng tubig ng ating mga halaman, kawawa yung mahigot nila, no? So, along with the nutrients being lost through direct leaching from leaves and no movement of nutrients in forest litter, leaves, stems, and fruits, litter, kalat, na forest litter, yun yung, ang yung tuwag na kalat ng forest, yung mga leaves, stems, and fruits. Kapag may acid rain, nawawala yung nutrients can be lost from the soil. Acid water flowing through the soil can exchange acidic hydrogen ions for essential plants to then such as calcium, magnesium and potassium. So, imbis na calcium, magnesium and potassium napapalitan ng acidic okay, hydrogen ions If these nutrients migrate beneath to the rooting zone, they become unavailable to tree roots. So, pag ba na nang pababa yung mga nutrients niyan, hindi na nang nakukuha ng roots. Wala na silang nakukuha ng nutrients. Human activities and overpopulation Okay, cause the most environmental problem. The human activities cause the most environmental problems. Okay, most environmental problems. People are beginning to realize that the way they interact with the environment must change to ensure the survival of all living things. Okay, so, tayo, marami tayong ginagawa, marami tayong kinukuha sa natural resources, marami tayong kinukuha sa paligid natin. Okay, some of us realize na as we get to them something, we need to have this concept of sustainable development. We are developing, but still, we need to sustain okay, those natural resources for the future generations. 
This means that, that a sustainable society should live under the carrying capacity of the environment. Huwag abusuhin. Okay? Huwag overfishing. Maliit pala yung isda kung nakuha na. Okay? This means that the rate at which, when we say sustainable development, this means that the rate at which society uses renewable resources does not exit. They exit at the rate, exit at the rate of resources are generated. Kung ano yung kaya i-produce, huwag abusuhin. Okay? Huwag Ubusin. Kung ito rin kaya ng puno para sa, kung ito yung bilang ng puno sa pag-produce ng papel, ng mga pangko, huwag ubusin lahat. Okay? We need to sustain them. So, the key concept here is that the principal causes of deforestation are Okay, so let's, let's, let's have, let, us, let us have the wrap it up. Okay, wrap it up. So, we have the illegal logging, but nag ng deforestation because of Kainian farming, forest fires, Conversion of agriculture lands to housing projects and typhoons sa mga pabahay. Ano effects ng deforestation? Soil erosion, lands, depletion, and wildlife resources. Depletion of wildlife, wild, uh, depletion of wildlife resources. The major cause of wildlife extinction is loss of habitat. The major cause of wildlife extinction is loss of habitat. Pag wala kang tirahan, nagkakaroon ng wildlife extinction. Coral reef destruction is caused by dynamite fishing, muro ami, Dynamite fishing, moro ami, pagbagsak, pagtali na mal ng mabibigat na bagay, bato, kung ano man yan, ibabagsak para matanggal yung mga corals and makuha, ibibenta. Okay, well, mangrove destruction, mangrove destruction, sa may mga puno, mga bakawan, mga swamp, na may malapit sa river, is caused by over-harvesting and conversion of the area into other uses. So, ginagawa commercial yung lugar, kaya nagkakaroon ng mangrove destruction. A nutrification naman, nawa-washed away, okay, sa land, okay, yung mga nutrients na pupunta sa bodies of water, ay kakaroon ng excessive growth of aquatic plants sa algae, results to algal bloom, which eventually die, and then nade-decompose sila, gamit yung bacteria, si bacteria gagamit ng oxygen, ibis na sila fish, mga ibang, ibang aquatic Marine or, okay, ibang aquatic organisms na mamatay. Competition sa the oxygen and also competition on the nutrients. Si acid rain naman is a result of air pollution from the factories in motor vehicles. Okay, motor vehicles, factories, nag-release ng gases, si gases, okay, pollutants, nag-react sa atmosphere, okay, nagkakapupunta sa water wave and then acid rain. And also the smog, don't forget. Sustainable development, Okay, what we should do is a sustainable development. Okay, means that the society should live under the caring capacity of the environment. Kung ano lang yung kaya, huwag abusado yun. Kunin lang yung sapat. And then, magtanim ng panibagong puno, ng panibagong halaman, para imihin yung mga isda, para imihin yung mga hayop, bago kumuha ulit. Okay, so that's it. I hope na may nakatch up kayo kahit pa paano na concept about the causes of extinction. Okay, we should realize what we need to contribute for this sustainable development and not to contribute to the species extinction. Thank you.